when we first got started, the people didn't trust us very much because we were such a new business. And I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if we had 25 years or something behind us? It seemed to me like he just wanted to know what worked. What he did, did it work? So he had to get the lumber wet and our bathtub would be full of lumber. Then after he tested that out, he had to see if it would dry. And so then our new building oven would be full of lumber. And that was our, our manufacturing place. And our dining room was our office. <laughs> we, of course, had to sell something to make profit or try to make ends meet. He had to sell things. But before that, we, he had to put a piece of equipment together that he could sell. So I was supposed to help take radios apart, de dissecting the radio, so he would have these little parts to put together, and I would usually break them, and I needed three hands and 15 fingers, and it just didn't work. Radios and TVs. And we put this equipment together. Oh. He put this, and then our children, we had all these little drawers. Our children would sort them out and put them in little drawers. So when he needed the parts, he could find his parts. Make a product. And then he had this product made, and he had to find out if it worked. So a sawmill said, well, you can put it in our sawmill, and we'll try it out. And so um, they were trying it out, and Delmer would come down. It was a, in southern Oregon here. And one day he came home, and he gave me a check. And I said, wow. He said, I sold, I sold that piece of equipment. And I said, for $1,600? He said, why not? It's already saved them thousands of dollars in the sawmill, in the mill, lumber mill. Yeah. And then we had all those used parts in there, so we built a brand new machine and replaced the old one. And they didn't even know it. Delmer went down to fix the old machine with all these old parts in it, with all new, because he had the money to buy new parts now. So he gave them a brand new set, and they didn't even know that they had been running with an old one. Because I remember one sawmill, the man said, I'll buy that equipment if you come back in a year, but I don't think you'll be in business in a year. Mm. And uh, that's when I thought, oh, I wish we'd been in business for many years, then they would have more confidence in us. And we got our children busy, putting, stamping the letters, folding them, and sending, helping, helping me get them out while he was working on the machine. So then somebody would call in, ask about them, and then we would go get in the car. My folks lived close and did a wonderful job taking care of my children. And we would just go to that meal, and if they bought it, said they wanted it, then we'd come home and make the machine custom made. Mm. And I would type out the instructions and the how to do that, and we would take it back to them, and Delmer would kind of help them show it, show them how to put it in. And uh, that way we'd learn, oh, we should have gotten this in the instructions. And we learned how to write the instructions better. That we had a van, a, a new van, and Delmer made a box about two feet, <clears throat> I like an empty box, <clears throat> that we, uh, at night, we would put our sleeping bags in that, and one of us would drive and one would sleep, because we were had to go a long ways. And then when we get to a meal, we put our, uh, put the cover on it, and then we put our pieces of equipment around, and you'd never know it had been a bedroom. <laughs> it was always very hard, I thought. He probably thought, Delmer probably thought it was always pretty easy, because he was having so much fun figuring out all these things. And people would come in and say, but we need this and this and this. And I'd be in my office, and I would hear him say, I think we can do it. And I was thinking, he does all this, and then I will not have money to pay the bills because it costs to do something new. Stick to this and not giving up. And... I would say honesty. 
All of Delmer's customers knew he was honest. And if he said something, he did it, and he worked very hard to do it. You were very honest. My secret to successful business? I'm not sure that there's any one secret. I've talked about uh, being uh, ethical, uh, having a good work ethic is very, very important. We've talked about uh, treating everybody that we deal with in a very a fair way. Uh, we try to make ev life better for everyone that we work with. Uh, employees, customers, everybody uh, is, is better for having done business with us. So then good, solid planning, innovation. There's so many things that, that make us successful. We've had some very, very good, good people working for us over the years. I think uh, it's very important to keep a very open mind and, and continue to innovate and do business in a very ethical and fair way for the future, just as we've been doing for, for these many uh, years, the last 50 years. But I believe that uh, there's still many, many opportunities. There's still areas where customers are losing money because of moisture issues. And uh, we need to keep finding out how to solve those customers' problems. And as long as we can be solving customers' problems, uh, I'm sure that uh, we'll have uh, a business that will be very successful. Things will change. Business will find new ways to measure uh, all kinds of materials. And we need to continue to find new ways of measuring moisture. Uh, it's very important to stay up to date, very important to use the latest technology, uh, very important to come up with innovative products, which we've been doing for so many years. And I'm sure that as we keep coming up with new and innovative products, we will have products that customers will wanna keep buying from us and will continue to be passionate about using our products. I would like to thank uh, my parents, of course, for founding the company. I would like to thank the many good employees that we have working at our company, but especially I'd like to thank the many good customers that have purchased our products and have had faith in, in our company. Thank you for, for your support. Thank you for your loyalty. Thank you for your passion about our products.